go on YouTube. This is Stone Cold 1121. This is a Rubbermaid trailer that was given to me. I'm going to pull it behind my John Deere. I just painted it green. It's a Rubbermaid. I don't know if you've seen it in my other videos. It's a Rubbermaid trailer, and I'm using the same paint that I use on my hood on my John Deere. That dollar ninety-seven stuff you get at Walmart. Man, I'm just needing the wheels for it, but I went ahead and I cleaned it up and I sprayed it. Two coats. I'm trying to get that, trying to cover that rubber made up. I may put some wood on the top of it, like right here, all the way around, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. I may put one more coat on it. And on the inside, I'm going to have a floor. Here's the floor for it that I cut. It's some thick plywood. It's got lines in it. I'm going to stick it right here in the floor. And I may put something on the sides. I'm not sure. Or on the, on the inside. I don't know. As far as the tailgate's concerned, I haven't thought about the tailgate at all. But... This is the trailer, and it looks pretty cool. I mean, actually, the green come out pretty good. It's actually blending in. Like I said, it was that dollar something. I can't remember dollar some change. Uh, as a matter of fact, I will show you the paint that I used. You can't really see that in here. But this is the paint I use. That's what it's called. You can get that at Walmart. It's just regular green. And I use a trigger. That's how I paint. Paint with a trigger. Just like this. It comes out pretty decent. Sorry about it being dark in here, but I did show you the, that's the color of it. In my next video, I'll show you with it, uh, with it, with the floorboard in it, and hopefully I'll have some wheels. If they come white, I'm going to uh, deflate them and paint the wheels yellow. I know it's not a John Deere, but it's going to match the tray, match the uh, riding mower as much as possible. So hopefully that works out. And it's a tilt trailer. You see that mechanism? You pull out the pin, lift it up, and it's a tilt. It was given to me by a neighbor from another house that we lived in. And you put a pin through here, you slide it through the back of the mower, and you pull it around. I don't know if I'll be using it much, but it's something cool to have, you know, and just, I don't know, I just want to do something with it. It's a project, basically. Keeps me busy since I'm getting, since I'm on dis, since I'm disabled. So. My next video is going to show, hopefully, the floor in there, and the rub uh, wooden sides on it, and hopefully the wheels. Till next time, this is Stone Cold 1121. Peace out, everybody. Have a good day, and keep them straight. Wherever you're living at, take care. Alright, it's my next video. I'm outside painting it. I'm fixing to, uh, I put one coat on it, on the hood, and I'm fixing to, uh, clear. Well, actually, I got one coat of clear on it. <coughs> Just hope it doesn't rain. It's just one coat, so it'll shine when I put another one on there. That looks pretty cool, though. Not bad. Not bad at all. There's a couple scratches you can see, but, I mean, it, I'm not impressing anybody. I just want it painted. When I got it, it was kind of, well, they didn't take care of it. He gave it to me, and I just sanded it down. And I said, the heck with it. I'm going to spray it. I've been I've been experimenting with paint 
it's about the closest I'm going to get. <laughs> and then, it's the, unless I'm going to pay 20 something dollars for a can of John Deere Green. This was only a dollar something at Walmart. I don't have nothing in the mower. The mower was given to me. I'm actually looking for a bagger for it. Hopefully I can find a bagger to fit on it. It's a STX-38. If anybody out there in YouTube land has a bagger, just give me a quote on it. I don't want to really spend much on it because I know it's a used mower. Uh, but I'm needing a bagger soon. And if I'm not mistaken, it has the bagger hook up on the back with little holes down there. I guess it slides in there, and the other one's for a hitch. But all I've done to this mower is basically change the oil, plugs, clean it up some. The seat, I was going to get reupholstered, but I got yellow duct tape all over it. It comes out pretty good. And then the seat, I've painted the seat behind it. The whole thing holding the seat. It's still got the emblem on it. <coughs> and then that's the hood. And I got all the decals. Uh, covered with tape, masking, blue masking tape, or it's the kind of tape you use for auto body. And I got the emblem there taped up. And I'll give it a little bit, and I'm gonna throw another coat of paint on it, well, a clear coat on it, and see what happens. But I'm not gonna strip anything down anymore. That's it. It is what it is. It runs good. It was a free mower I got off Craigslist. The guy was going TDY or leaving. Got orders overseas. And he gave it to me. I was surprised it was a John Deere. I said, you got a riding mower? He says, yeah. Come over and pick it up. Uh, I'm going to put it by the road. So I went by there and it was a John Deere. I was totally surprised. It's not bad. The only thing it don't have is headlights. But I'm not worried about that. If I need one with headlights, I'll just use my other one. Well, I'm looking for a bagger for an STX-38. If anybody out there knows or may have one, it'll sell me cheap. I'm not looking into really spending anything in this, you know. And I'll pay for the shipping if need be. I'm hoping you're in North Carolina and close to Fayetteville so I can drive where you're at. Because I really don't have much money. I'm fighting for my disability now. So I really don't have hardly anything to do anything with. But I, I, this is what I want. <laughs> I want my disability and I want a bagger. So I can do my mother's yard. And I'm hoping to find one in Fayetteville area or surrounding in North Carolina. This could be Raleigh, Charlotte, Greensboro, Asheville, like that. I'll find a way to get the gas money to go or somebody would have the heart to meet me halfway. We can work it out. Um, just, uh, you can actually message me through YouTube or just go to StuartFan20NO1 at Yahoo.com and just <clears throat> send me an email if you know anybody that has one, but it's got to be for STX38. I don't think there's any other bagger system that would fit off any other mower. Of course, I'm not really sure. I don't really know much about them, but all in all, I mean, it's, I don't want to have to throw, fork any money out in it. I don't even have it. If I had, if I had it, I wouldn't want to fork it out. Maybe somebody has a broken down mower with a good bagging system or just has a bagging system they want to get rid of, has no use for it. Well, as you can see, I have all kinds of use for it because I don't have a bag and system and it runs. So, thanks YouTube for letting me put my video on here. And to all you viewers, you all have a great, great holiday. And please get back with me if you have one of these baggers. God bless. Well, this is the last time I'm painting this. There you go. You may see a little scratches on the hood. I don't like me sanding, but I'm not worried about that. It's got a good shine to it.
It's decent. I've only put two coats. Two coats on the hood. So, it's got scratches in it, so be it. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go clear, go some clear on it once it's done. I got everything taped up all the way down and around. There you go. Pretty cool. Decent. Not too bad. When I put that clear coat on, that's when it's really going to buff out and shine bad. I'm not really worried about it now. I mean, it's good enough. Pretty cool. I'm impressed. Considering the way it, the way it was before, it was really messed up. I used the wrong kind of uh, gloss clear lacquer which was for wood and it peeled off like glue wood on your hand like when you Elmer's glue when you're in school peels off peels off like that I peeled off sheets of it <clears throat> so I wet sanded it well I sanded it down and I cleaned it up and I just sprayed it so I mean there's some scratches I really don't care it looks good enough for me it's gonna get dirty anyway well, Mom, there's your shine. That's what I want to show you. Got a pretty good glare on it. Looks pretty good. I don't think I need to touch up anything. Just gonna let it dry. Be done with it. Alright. Want to show you that hood. Take care.